this is my party trick. You watch it closely. Where's it gone? Danny Wheeler, AKA Wheel Up. In only in Buckinghamshire. I remember listening to Michael Jackson, being obsessed with Michael Jackson as a kid. My parents were playing Marvin Gaye and Stevie Wonder and lots of old funk records. They used to sing. And then from that, my friends that I grew up with were into pirate radio and I switched and went into like electronic DJing and yeah, just that's kind of how it started. I started to call myself Wheel Up about three years ago because my friend Afronaut, who's from the West London Broken Beat New Jazz scene, he just started calling me Wheel Up when I started to make Broken Beat. And before that, I was known as Danny Wheeler when I made drum and bass. The first record I released was a track called Ghost with somebody called Subfocus and it was on vinyl and it actually went to number five in the UK dance charts. From that, I got to DJ all over the world and that was in the drum and bass world. I've been in drum bass scene for maybe 20 years, like since I was at school as a DJ producer. I had a studio that was next to all of the jazz guys in West London, so IG Culture and Afronauts and Kaidi Tatum. They were like my education in music. I decided to change what I was doing because all my friends in drum and bass, it's like very much you stay in this scene and this is where you are. And my friends would be like, no, you can't change because if you change, you'll lose your fans from that one. I just wanted to try something different. And once I went, it was like I'd gone through a different energy and it was being received really well. Exciting, uplifting and powerful. Brock. West London Sound, New Jazz, it's a fusion of many music. It's somewhere between jazz, electronic. My tint has a bit of African influence as well, but it's one of these kind of genres like jungle music was. Any style can come in into the melting pot and create it. And I also think it's really one of the most exciting styles of music in the world. Well, Broken Beat was always very underground and just a small group of people. It went a kind of crossover. It's just that it's going to a wider audience. Like any scene that just starts off with a few people, if it's good and it's strong and it's with a good intention, it's going to naturally progress and develop. Okay, so my debut album is on True Thoughts record label based in Brighton and I have collaborations with some of the pioneers like Afronaut uh, from Bugs in the Attic and Denver Segway and I also have some new artists that I've worked with in America called Brink Story, Destiny Will. It was released last year, 2021. I made it in lockdown in 2020. I just tried to create something new but also respecting the past. It was received really well. Actually, I had a lot of BBC support for the music. The older guy said to me that it's the first time that Broken Beat is getting on that level of like BBC play, so that was quite a nice thing to hear from my OGs. I play keys a bit, I used to sing a bit, and I use Logic, I used to use Pro Tools, and I use Ableton. The people that inspire me the most, people like LTJ Bookham, Quincy Jones, Bugs in the Attic, and Ronnie Sides as well, can't forget Ronnie. Oh, it was a festival, exit festival in Serbia. It was crazy, it was like 30,000 people and DJing with the label that I was signed to at the time. And yeah, that was amazing. Well, I've actually just delivered my second album to True Thoughts and then I've got another album that I've already started working on for True Thoughts and I've got a collaborative album with Afronaut that I'm working on. At some stage soon, I'm going to be doing a drum and bass album again because I haven't done any drum and bass for two years. Oh, the vibe, the vibe of Brick Lane is amazing. Like the whole street at the weekends, it's just energy. I'm from West London, so it used to be that energy in, in West London back in the day, but it's definitely got that vibe around here in Brick Lane. And I actually had my first ever job in music was in the Truman Brewery. So it's kind of coming full circle, coming back to the Brick Lane Jazz Festival to perform. Go back to the studio, I've got work to do. Go up the street.